The Templars of Orleans and Paris have met to combine their forces for one final push against the French King who is greedy and unpious and believes he is above the Templars and God himself. The Templars must prove that he is wrong and march on Paris to prove just that. But on the way, they may be met by some unforeseen obstacle. Will they be able to overcome it? Or will they perish? In the pouring rain in medieval France, the Templar army has been caught on the road by the French king and his royal army sent from the south back to Paris to block their path. What's up guys, I'm Pope John Paul and welcome back. We're here with another part of our 1212 AD Templar mini-series. And yeah, in today's uh, video we have the Templars. They are on the, uh, on the advance towards Paris. After defeating several French armies and papal armies, they have had enough and they are going to usurp this unpious, greedy French king. But there is one more obstacle in their path, we'll call it. One more foe in their path, but look at these armies, they look awesome. All the chevaliers, sergeants, looking excellent. So yeah, so uh, this is part five um, of the uh, mini-series. I probably have done like a little recap uh, for what's happening in part four and early parts. Um, but in, this is the, um, I, want to, I can't remember what the word is. Uh, it's it's the second to last episode uh, today, oh, or today, of this uh, series. So I hope you guys have been enjoying it. Please do keep up with the likes, subscribe if you're new around here, and comments. I do enjoy all the support. I'd just like to thank all the support we've had for this little mini series. It's been really fun to do something a little bit different, uh, to just do like a an all let uh, let's play, and uh, you can kind of like make your own story and follow the paths of these uh, of these Templars almost. So yeah, the skirmishing phase has just begun. We have uh, crossbows over there with, and and uh, crusader marksmen focusing these guys down. We've got archers already being focused down. Very nice to see. Um, but I'd say that it's, a, it's not in favour of the Templars. But I'd say the Templars have got uh, chevrons. They've got veterancy on their side. Like the dismounted Templar knights uh, on one silver chevron right now. And the hospitalers on triple uh, bronze. These guys have like been through... A heck of a lot. They've been to the uh, the Holy Lands. They've been um, in southern France fighting the Cathars. They fought numerous French armies of the survivors. This is like the combined Paris and Orleans uh, temples. So these guys have like seen a lot of action. Of these guys. So, um, but yeah, this is the fr this is the uh, last sizable Templar force. So it needs to beat this. French army, and this is the last size of the French force as well. Um, so they need to, uh, both sides need to win, basically. If they want, if they can knock each other out, then they basically won this war. So we will see what happens. Crusader crossbows getting uh, slightly focused down. That is fine. We can deal with them. There's a bit of a bit of a skirmish phase, I will admit. But I mean, it gives us a chance to look over some of these units that we may not have already looked over. I mean, Crusader sergeants, obviously. We've seen a lot of these boys. Glorious men. Got Order Swordsmen here as well. These guys look excellent. Look at him. Look at that guy there with his visor up. He looks awesome. Oh. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, the flanks are going to be huge uh, victory. Like, need to be huge victories. We've got, like, the Hospitals on this side. We've got um, Cliens and French Chevaliers on the other. More Templar Knights on that side. Be interesting to see what happens. It looks like my crossbows and mar marksmen are getting really close. Uh, it's because they're fi firing at this un these units over here, which is in, like they're not in loose formation, and now they're going into loose formation. I was thinking, oh, that's some easy kills we can get there. Some R blasters, uh, just not doing quite enough. Not doing quite enough. They're getting focused down though. It's really good to see. What else have we got back here? We've got Dismounted Hospitaler Knights as well. And here we go. 
The infantry lines look like they're moving forward now. We're actually starting to get actually pretty wrecked over here. I've just realized, geez, already at 90 uh, men left. Yeah, that's not good. And here come the archers. I'm saying up my new line. I think it's going to hold this tree line. And, uh, well, the tree line over there, and this is just a normal line. <laughs> it's just, it kind of is a bit in forward of this one. These guys are hidden. Um, I'm quite sure that they know that they're there. I think they saw them go into the forest and then never come out again. So it's sort of a hidden, but they're sort of not. But um, we'll see what happens. Let's get a bit of slow-mo in a moment for when these guys crash. We've got shield wall here, so we should be okay. Um, these also piatons are pretty awful. Let's see the clash of lines. It's not as cool when it's... <laughs> spears versus spears is never a cool clash. But that's the first infantry clash. And there's another one along here. Against all the swords. Our troops are being ambushed, our troops are being ambushed apparently. Uh, I think that's just because they came out of here. Like out of that forest here. But here you, go, you can see the huge French army starting to move forward. Ever so, well, ever so slowly. But also doesn't help that they're in a slow-mo. Hold the line for God and... I don't know. I would say the Pope as well, but the Pope's corrupt in this one as well. He's, an, he's a puppet. A puppet of uh, the French king. I mean, they're having some rough times here with these crossbows. And Templars looking like they uh, are ready and raring to go in as well. I just love these boys. These boys are just excellent. Excellent. Come on, get in, get in there here and fight. I want to see some fighting. Oh, I hate units we discovered. Oh, I presume it was these units here. But I mean, they're already wavering here at these spears. That's really good. Um, but yeah, it looks like the I can left, uh, well, right flank for us, left flank, left flank for the French is about to engage. And here we go, we've got cavalry about to engage as well. Sort of just caught that at the last moment. Um, this unit actually that I am looking at is uh, trying to get out of combat because I'm going to try and sneak it around and I'm going to try and do some damage. I'm not actually sure where I'm going. Templars are coming in though as well. That should help this fight here. We've got uh, Pietons high, and here we go. This Templar unit is going to go into these uh, sergeants. Oh my gosh, that is horrendous. What's that unit has gone from 120 down to 80. Going lower still, and it's going to wave and break. We've got their general as well pinned in uh, combat. That's huge. Um, hopefully we can deal with him. He is a uh, tier 2 general, though, so he's going to be pretty tough to kill. I mean, my uh, Templars are winning that fight. Yeah, that, te that sergeant unit is gone. It's, it's just gone. Uh, we've got lots of uh, hospitalers, not hospitalers, Templars, uh, all in here. I don't know if this is really good or not. Possibly not. Um, on the far side, I allowed my cavalry to get charged. So this is not good. Um, we have our, my hospitalers breaking at 51 men. This is not good at all. So, uh, this is a big, big problem over on this side. They've also got Brazonian uh, spears in here, so they're like a pretty good spear unit. I'm now rushing over shock infantry and normal infantry to hold the line as well. Um, also, not having much fun here either. You can see my uh, Crusader um, sergeants aren't happy they're being attacked in the rear, yet they're not. <laughs> It's just that there's infantry behind them. They're just like, oh god, they're, they're pretty scary. Let's have some more slow-mo. Let's have some more slow-mo for a bit. Look at this. Excellent fight. You, know, you can see more hospitals being sent up. Crusader sergeants holding the line. More hospitals. Now we're into the tree line with just <laughs> even more Crusader spearmen or sergeants. I forgot what. I think there's uh, sergeants. I was right the first time. I should not doubt myself. Um, we've now got Order Swords in here. Against Ribolds. They're not going to hold very well, those Ribolds, I don't think. Well, they might just hold out long enough for some other areas to hold. I mean, we've got uh, French Chevaliers now in here. This is huge. Um, this is a pretty good unit. They should probably actually break through this Order Swords in the line. They've got Swords and Shock Infantry in here. There you go. We've got Men Breaking already. I think that's probably back over there. The way oh, no, over here. We've got the Cavalry Wavering. This is not so good, but let's go back to normal speed. I just love like the colours of the horses, and then we got uh, my Templars now falling back. 
I think because uh, their general fell back. I'm not quite sure where their general actually is. Oh, he's getting around the rear. This is not good at all. Um, I imagine going for either my... Oh, no, my cavalry took is containing that one. They're going for the Templars. Not a good sign. Yeah, that's not good. Poor Templars are now having to hold this the whole line on their own. My mounted version are breaking. And it's now just a dismounted Templars in here. Hold the line, you veterans of Akka. We have been in much tighter spots than this and come out on top. But we are actually winning. <laughs> Look at that. All the Templars are in here and they're just getting they're just overwhelming them. And we are winning that right side. Uh, the center, not looking so good. We are running out of reserves. And they are going to break through. We are actually well and truly out of reserves. Their general, I'm also trying to catch. Um, I'm trying to get these dismounted shot um, hospitalers to come get them. Won't be the case. Here we go. They're sort of getting them. Not going to catch. Well, they're going to catch one guy, I think. It's infuriating, I will admit. Uh, my hospitalers back here have rallied. I didn't even realize. It's 17 men, though. It's not going to be... Uh, Game changing. And now we have the uh, dismounted Chevaliers. And look at this. This is a huge hole in the middle. Now the flanks on the right flank starting to lose. Where well, I thought I was doing quite well. I was doing well on the right flank, but the left flank and center. Well, left flank I'm holding, but I'm not doing. I'm Holding's not good enough. And then the center is just a, a bit of a miss. We'll call that, uh, we'll call that a swing and a miss. But we are surrounded. We've got a. Uh, Templars here surrounding these sergeants, breaking them. And there we go, they're cut down, dead. That's finally, that's a good sign to see there. We're at least getting those guys. Um, my general's not looking so hot. Um, he's actually charging into these <laughs> French Chevaliers here. I don't know if he's going to come out of this alive. He's just been about to be charged by cavalry. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good. And he's not quite dead yet, but he's going to die. Um, yeah, there you go. General has fallen. And that is probably going to wrap up uh, today's battle. The Templars have actually been defeated for the first time in this miniseries. Okay, I guess apart from Akka, but they weren't actually there. They had already fled. Um, but yeah, in the first time in this miniseries, the Templars have been defeated on the field. So they're going to have to fall back to their... Last stand in the in the Orleans Temple, and hope that they can hold out against the French. But the French will be chasing them; they'll be harrying them all the way. And there you go, a decisive defeat for the Templars. And there you go. So we'll have a quick look at the end results. Um, I mean, my hospitalers didn't actually do that great for like the amount that they cost. Only 98 kills. I wasn't so happy. Probably need to send them in a bit earlier. Uh, my, I mean, they actually did the best out of any of my infantry. Actually, apart from the Sword of Swords, 137. But um, most of my infantry didn't do that great. Uh, we just got overwhelmed. I also was playing against two players, so the micro is hard as... Well, very hard, we'll put it like that. I was ever so slightly outnumbered. Um, but, um, yeah, that's what happens, I guess. I think that left flank as well, if I uh, actually charged my hospitals, I might have done okay. Um, but, yeah, well, to play to... Uh, Killian and Aiden, they did well. Um, and you can have a look at their results there. There, and then there's Aiden's. Um, I'd say certainly, I'd say Killian did, I think, a bit better. Maybe, ever so slightly. Maybe just because it was Cav. Mm, I don't know, it's close, it's close. Both did very well. But anyway, if you've enjoyed this uh, part five of the Templar series, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, uh, and leave a comment. And look forward to uh, part six, guys. Uh, where we have an epic final stand with the Templars. I hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, 